Good afternoon, everyone. We are Group 3, and I am Jesse. We have Mel, MG, and EJ as my colleague. We will present about RC Dairy Ice Cream and their unique selling proposition and competitors. Next slide, please. Outline of learning objectives. So first part is our chosen brand, which is RC Dairy, and we'll give you also a brief background about the company and its unique selling proposition and also the target market. Second, we'll give you an idea about the competitors of RC Dairy, which is Selecta and Magnolia. Lastly, what's new? What's new meaning uh, what's new in the company and their products. Now let's begin. I will now introduce to you Mel for the company background. Thank you. For the company background, RC Dairy is a family-owned ice cream business established in 1935 by Ramon Arce Sr. and Dona Carmen Arce. The brand was originally Selecta, but due to family conflict, they eventually sold the Selecta brand. They are, a, they are a pioneer brand in the Philippines for using fresh carabao's milk and natural ingredients in making their ice cream. Moreover, they have won the following awards for the quality of their products. RC Dairy uses the American technology for making ice cream. They strictly use fresh carabao's milk with other natural ingredients. They have unique flavors that can't be found in other brands. It's also considered the healthier choice. And they have also maintained a reputation over the years for their quality and classic staple products. Their unique selling proposition is only the natural always. Why? Because they use fresh carabao's milk and fresh fruit ingredients. They also offer gourmet type of ice creams with no compromise in quality, which is their legacy and competitive advantage over their competitors. Given their unique selling proposition of only providing quality ice cream, this entails higher costs and makes their products more expensive than their competitors. Their target market is primarily yuppies, young professionals aged 20 to 26 years old, class A and B, male and female living in Metro Manila, as well as Gen X and Gen Y middle income Filipinos. Their secondary market are families and mall goers. So for the competitors, I'll now pass it on to EJ. Hi guys. So for competitors, first we have Selecta. I'm going to show you an old TV commercial ad by Selecta. Sorry. Chinit, birthday ko na bukas. Pwede mag-wish? Anong wish mo? <gasps> ice cream! Padahal flavors! Ah, ice cream! Kaya ba? Wish granted! Yay! Kayang-kayang birthday wish mo with new Selecta Birthday 3-in-1. Wine Klein lang! Ang paboritong flavors mo, nandito! May bagong pandan pa! New Selecta Birthday 3-in-1! 99 lang! <laughs> May 2-in-1 pa! So that's Select uh, the only ice cream brand that offers four flavors in one tub. They also have three flavors in one tub. Um, they also offer ice cream sticks for just only 10 pesos. So Select uses a family bonding campaign with their ads and also celebrities. So the primary target market for Selecta are kids because kids loves to eat and would eat ice cream if available. Kids choose Selecta ice cream over the brand because of the brand, taste, flavors, and endorsed by celebrities while parents enjoy buying it because of its competitive price points. So as you can see earlier on the video, the uh, three in one plus one tub is just like 99 pesos and the two in one is 79 pesos so for the next competitor we have magnolia okay i'm going to show you again a, a tv commercial ad by magnolia <laughs>
best of the Philippines. Huwag maging dayuhan sa sariling ice cream. Okay, we have Magnolia. Uh, Magnolia, um, produce their campaign, the best of the Philippines flavors, um, in partnership with um, Department of Tourism. It's more fun in the Philippines. Uh, it showcased the different flavors, um, the best ingredients on each part of our country. Um, actually, uh, Magnolia has its own ice cream parlor in Magnolia that offers different kinds of ice cream like uh, banana split and etc. So, um, the target market of Magnolia are parents ages 30 to 40, male and females with a social class CND. Why? Because parents are the ones who bring home Magnolia ice cream products and uh, that offer to their young kids. So, as we moving on, uh, what's new? Um, Meg, take away. So, in the past few years, especially now during the pandemic, a lot of companies have been shifting their strategies to adjust to what we now call as the new normal. For our Sedairy, they figured out a way to offer their products through their own delivery service and through Food Panda, since malls and groceries are not up as accessible as before for the yuppies who have been working from home. They also offered healthier ice cream varieties such as vegan choices, less guilt, and no sugar added to reach out to the yuppies who have now been very conscious about their healthy diet. Recently, they also partnered up with other dessert shops like the, the Lost Bread in order to provide unique and interesting local flavors such as Hao Hao, Blue Vanilla, and Chocolate, which gives us a sense of nostalgia. For Selecta, they also figured out a way to offer their products closer to their consumers by increasing their presence in mobile markets. Selecta is also trying to maximize the potential of their premium variety like Magnum by recently launching a pint version of it and having it available in 7-Eleven stores. Lastly, they have also been aggressive with their discounts and promos in order to provide um, better offerings through Grab Food and Food Panda. For Magnolia, the group noticed that they are now shifting their target market from Gen X to Millennials with the help of famous local celebrities like Catherine Bernardo. Their advertisements also shifted from families to friends and couples with the help of famous couple celebrities like Alden Richard and Maine Mendoza. They also expanded their flavors with gold label selection, giving interesting and very millennial flavors such as winter melon milk tea and latte choco brownie. Lastly, they also figured out a way to offer their products closer to their consumers with partnerships with online frozen deliveries such as Frozen Manila and Ice Cream Lovers PH. For the summary, I hand you over to Jesse. For our summary, the existing dairy plant was established in 1935 by Don Ramon Arce Sr. and Doña Carmen Arce. So the Arce family has been making their incredibly rich and delicious ice cream for 85 years now. They are the, they are the first ice cream company that uses Carabao's milk and have more variety flavors, especially sugar-free. And the unique selling proposition of RC Dairy has shifted from targeting people who are within reach in the urban areas to targeting families who can enjoy and bond over their products in the comforts of their home. N next slide, please. We started 1995 and our production now is about 3,000 gallons a day. I'm Ariel Arce, Vice President for Operations, Arce Dairy. Arce Dairy is a family business and I'm the fourth generation. I start at 7 o'clock in the morning to check on deliveries. Then at around uh, 9 o'clock, I check on the production. Then after that, 
after that, uh, I go to accounting to check the credit and collection also. Then after that, I go to my relatives to report. Well, of course, we use the best ingredients. We maintain our quality. And uh, we manufacture the best ice cream in the Philippines. As you have seen and listened in the video, RCDA targets the higher class families while Magnolia and Selecta target the lower class families. And they manufactured the best ice cream in the Philippines. I just want to thank you all for listening in our presentation. Thank you.